we now discuss the solution of a problem from the section algebra the problem is on counting the number of infinite binary words in a given context this problem appeared in csir national eligibility test held on 30th november 2020 and it is from the section b the problem is an infinite binary word a is a string consisting of a1 a2 a3 etc where each an belongs to the set consisting of 0 comma 1 fix a word s is equal to the set con the, the set consisting of s1 s2 s3 so on so forth where sn is equal to 1 if and only if n is a prime number let capital s be the set of all infinite binary words a that is a1 a2 a3 etc such that there exists a m belongs to n such that a n is equal to s n for all n greater than or equal to m what is the cardinality of s we are given four options option 1 1 only option 2 finite but more than 1 option 3 countably infinite option 4 uncountable let's now discuss the solution of the problem in detail we have an infinite binary word a which is a string a1 a2 a3 etc where a n belongs to 0 comma 1 for all n belongs to n um, given a word s is equal to s1 s2 s3 an infinite binary word s s1 s2 s3 where sn is equal to 1 if and only if n is a prime number therefore sn will be 0 if n is not a prime then what is s s is equal to the infinite binary word consisting of s1 is 0 because 1 is not a prime s2 is 1 because 2 is a prime s3 1 because 3 is a prime s4 is 0 s5 is 1 s6 is 0 s7 is 1 etc so this is a, a fixed given infinite binary word denoted by s now capital s is equal to the set of all infinite binary words a is equal to a1 a2 a3 such that there exists a m belongs to the set of natural numbers such that a n is equal to sn for all n greater than or equal to m now this is equal to the union m is equal to 1 to infinity s m where sm is the set of all words infinite binary words a consisting of a1 a2 a3 etc am minus 1 then sm sm plus 1 etc where ais are coming from the set consisting of 0 comma 1 it is true for 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to m minus 1 a1 a2 am minus 1 will take the digits 0 and 1 and uh, these are fixed which are coming from the capital s now we want to find what is the cardinality of s so we have this that is equal to union m is equal to 1 to infinity sm where sm is defined like this note that s1 is that is we take m is equal to 
well, m is equal to 1 and uh, it, it says a n is equal to s n for all n greater than or equal to 1. That means a 1 is s 1, a 2 is s 2, so on and so forth. Therefore, it is s 1, s 2, s 3. This is precisely s itself. And s 2 is the set of all infinite binary words a, a 1, s 2, s 3, so on and so forth. a 1 comes from the set consisting of 0 and 1 and that will be two words that is 0, s 2, s 3, 1, s 2, s 3, so on and so forth. s 3 consisting of a 1, a 2, s 3, s 4, these are fixed, a 1, a 2 will vary and will take values 0 and 1 and will give you 2 into 2 that is 4 values it will give. So, 0, 0, s 3, s 4, 0, 1, s 3, s 4, etc., 1, 0, s 3, s 4, etc., 1, 1, s 3, s 4, etc. So, these are the 4 letter, 4 infinite binary words. S4 consisting of a1, a2, a3, s4, s5, etc., where a1, a2, a3 takes the values 0 and 1 and it will give you 8 values and the 0, 0, s4, s5, 0, 0, 1, s4, s5, 0, 1, 0, s4, s5, etc., 0, 1, 1, s4, s5, etc., like that 1, 0, 0, 1, not 1, 1, 1, 0, triple 1, s4, s5. These are the two cubes that is uh, uh, 8 elements are there in S4, etc. Continue like that. And you know down that the order of Sm is equal to 2 to the power of m minus 1, where m is 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. And there is nothing common between any Sm and Sn. Sm intersection Sn is empty when m not equal to n. So they are disjoint. And we require to find what is the cardinality of S, where uh, S is the union of M is equal to 1 to infinity SM. And thus, we have to set up a mapping from uh, the set S to natural numbers and uh, which is bijective, then thereby S is equivalent to N and S will have uh, the same cardinality as that of the natural numbers. Thus, it will be uh, countably infinite. Define a map F from S to N by f of a typical word a1, a2, am minus 1, sm, sm plus 1, etc. will be mapped on to the natural number 2 to the power of m minus 1 plus 2 to the power of m minus 2 into a1 plus 2 to the power of m minus 3 into a2 plus so on so forth 2 to the power of 0 into a power a, a suffix m minus 1. And let us look at the, the table here. And uh, if you take, uh, if you take uh, m is 1, s1, s2, so on and so forth, that is the word s will be taken to 2 power 0, that is equal to 1. And when m is equal to 2, there are two words, two words like this. And uh, the typical word a1, s2, s3 will be taken to, as by this definition, 2 plus 2 power 0, a1. And uh, the, in this 0, s2, s3, this word will be taken to 2. 1 s2 s3 will be taken to 3 and when m is equal to 3 uh, the typical word is a1 a2 s3 s4 and it will be taken to 2 square plus 2 times a1 plus 2 power 0 into a2 as per this definition and uh, 0 0 s3 s4 will go to 4 0 1 will go to 5 1 0 will go to 6 1 1 will go to 7 like that uh, when m is equal to 4 and uh, these uh, the, these elements are mapped to 8, 9, 10, so on and so forth up to 15. So note that F maps the elements of SM, SM, a typical SM, to 2 to the power of M minus 1 to 2 to the power of M minus 1. So the elements of this are mapped to these elements and they will be 2 to the power of M minus 1 onwards to 2 to the power of M minus so, it can be shown that f is bijective, thus s is equivalent to n, therefore the cardinality of s is equal to the cardinality of n. The cardinality of n is Lf0, it is countable, it is countable and, and hence s is, thus the cardinality of s is countably infinite. So, what are the options 
we have. So our option 3 is our answer. The answer is option 3 that is true and that is the cardinal of S is countably infinite. So that is the discussion of the solution of the problem from the section algebra. It's on counting the number of binary words in a given context. I hope that you have understood the solution of this problem and uh, work out some more problems on these uh, lines. I wish you all the best. Thank you.